All right, today we're finna do a brake job. Front brakes. My brakes are not bad. I probably got about 15,000 miles on the car. It's been about a year, well, a little over a year. But I'm changing because of this. About 35 miles since I washed my car. Just, dude, it's just dirty. It, this, is, this is what the Brembos do. I mean, they work perfect. They work good, but I just can't stand all the brake dust that it creates. So they made something to fix that. Um, power stop. They say they pretty much eliminate brake dust. They're made of carbon fiber and ceramic uh, materials, and uh, they're supposed to not give you as much brake dust or any compared to stock. So we're gonna change out the six piston Brembos and uh, just a little step-by-step -step guide in case you want to do it yourself. It's fairly easy. If you change brakes on a Honda, you can do this, trust me. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off the wheels, uh, put the wheel lock key on, I like to jack the car up just a little bit. There we go. Then I loosen them up and then we'll jack it up all the way and take everything off. So my boy's uh, air tools <laughs> not getting enough PSI out of the uh, tank. So we're just gonna go by hand. All right, so I got everything loose now uh, by hand. And then I'm gonna get back on it with this. Lift the car up off the ground. Take the rest of the lug nuts off. And remove the wheel and just set it to the side. And then what we're gonna be messing with is this stuff over here. So these two pins have to come out right here. And then also you're gonna remove this bracket. Then there's a bolt on the other side, I believe it's a 13 millimeter, somewhere around here. And you're gonna remove that. And that pin is actually gonna slide out. There's a pin right here. That's gonna slide out. And then you're just gonna pull your brake pads out, uh, compress the, uh, the pistons that are inside the brake and put the new pads in, put the, put the slides back in and you should be good to go. Let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna move the caliper a little bit so we get a little better perspective. So the two pins I'm gonna get out right here and right here and then we're gonna move that 13 millimeter bolt and then you got that. So let's get on this first. And this is my first time doing it. And like I said, it should be fairly easy. So one bolt out, then I can just slide this out by hand. Okay, that's done. Then we're gonna use, I got an old school punch tool. Okay, one end you hit with the hammer, the other end is gonna be on these right here. And then uh, should push it out. one two all right then we're just gonna have to jiggle this stuff out If I had a longer punch, I could just send it through there, but mine's a little too thick. I'm 
I'm gonna get some pliers and just pull them out. And it's under pressure, that's why this is so hard. Almost done. There we go. Like I said, that was under pressure that spring. So it finally popped out and we got that. And of course it just slides out after that. Then let's look at these pads. shimmy them out there you can see where the three pistons hit it from the factory they're brimbo i know they already have that shim to keep them quiet like i said i got a little bit of meat on mine so they didn't need it to they didn't need to be changed but i'm going because man i hate having to clean my wheels every goddamn day there's the back ones And they also have a, a direction on them. So it says like these go down, the arrow right there slows down. So when I put this back in, actually it's gonna go up. So this was a rear. So my arrow's pointing up on the rear, so make sure you keep a count of that. And same thing here, so it's gonna be pointing up when you put them back in. If these are marked the same way, let's take a look. Inside the bag, you're going to get uh, new hardware. And then the pads. And I just want to make sure I got, uh, make sure they all look about the same. Let's see where the, uh, the wear mark indicator is at. Okay, they look like the same exact pads either side. Uh, the, the indicator right here is the same on each pad. So as long as they're facing, uh, as long as they're facing down in the down position, that's all you put on a pad. So I'll get those two right there. These will be for the other side. And they also give you a little bit of grease and I'm gonna line the back of the pad with that. And let me get a flathead and we're gonna push these pistons back or otherwise the new brakes won't go in. These have to be pushed back in just a little bit. Okay, so again with the, uh, the pistons and the caliper, uh, see there's six, so one, two, three, and then we got three on the other side. I actually pushed those in already and the way I did it was I took a brake pad, an old brake pad, and I put it uh, partially back in, just like that. So then it's resting against the pistons in there. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, just move the pistons by using the force of me on the brake pad. And there it went, they just moved back in. So now when I take this back out, you can see they're more flush and before they were sticking out. Same thing with this side, it's more flush before they were sticking out. So now you're ready to just slide the new pads in. And like I said before, okay, these are the old ones. The new ones, we're gonna put a little bit of this lube on there. That way, uh, make sure it will never make any noise. You just spread just a little bit, right where it's gonna come in contact with the pistons, and then we'll slide them back in. So I just put a little bit on there, and we're just gonna spread it kind of thin. You just wanna make sure there's a little bit of lube on there. There we go. And for this one, same thing.
There we go. Now they're ready to slide in. Let's put this camera back. One man show today. There we go. Okay, so the one in the back was like this. I'm just comparing so I know uh, where everything goes. This was the one for the rear or the right side. Put it with that one. So take it, slide it in. There we go. And the one for the left side. All right, so I didn't push that one in far enough. So what we're gonna do is put this one back in. Like I said, partially, and then we're gonna push this way against the piston, and it should push it in. There we go. Pull that one back out. It looks flatter now. I'll try and slide this in. There we go. And they're in. So those are in good. Now we're ready for the plate. Just trying to remember which way it went. They're almost identical, but something's a little different. So we're just kind of looking right now. I believe this part is gonna be the part that goes up. So just like that, and then uh, the pin will sit right here and put pressure that way. This pin will sit there and put pressure that way. Then you got the one that goes through the middle to hold everything down. All right, so you don't even need this part yet. We're gonna put the first pin in and then we'll be able to slide it under. And then you're ready for the second pin, okay? So I'll just set this down. I'm gonna have to line this up. Give it a couple taps. There. So that's in, kind of coming through this side. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. We'll make it a little tighter later. Then I'll set this in. And the same thing for the bottom pin. Set this time I'm gonna put the pressure on there. Oh good, that one's already partially seated like that. Then I'm gonna go for the big slide. Turn it so it's angled in there. Just give it a couple taps. That's in. Good. So you got the pressure all the way around. Get that 13 mil bolt seated. You want to keep this pushed in on this side. All right, that's on. Then I'm gonna push these back through until they're flush on this side. So there won't be anything left, it'll just be flush. There we go. And the other side. All right, nice and flush. They're poking through on this side. And turn the rotor. Good. This side is done, complete. I can put the wheel back on, and then we're gonna go through the, uh, the seating process, how you seat the new brakes. You can't just go and drive. You need to drive in cycles, heat the material up on the brakes and on the rotor so that they match, and it'll be a perfectly fast surface every time you brake. Very important that you do that after you set the brakes up. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, man. It should be good to man, go. And I gotta make a correction, y'all. Uh, in a video I showed you I was putting on this one where it has a extra, uh, I guess you want to call it finger compared to the stock one. 
the OEM one looks just like this. And I put this one on. Uh, in the kit, it actually came with two bags. So they gave me both kinds. So this one only has a one bar and this one, uh, this other one has a two. So we're just gonna use the one with the one bar. And then also it gives you uh, new slides. So I'm gonna replace it with the new slides and then you're done.